You know how many times I applied to be a police officer? Mm. Six times. All six times, they passed me over. Well, it looks like you did good work in that garage, Mr. Crimmins. Just doing my job. People think it's about taking tickets, but when somebody starts messing with people in my garage, I take it personal. Why don't you tell us um, your version of how things went down? Detective, there's only one version that matters, the truth. I was monitoring the flow of traffic when they entered the garage. 14, 2700 hours, a red Toyota Camry. One male driver, one female passenger. 1428, blue van. One male driver, plaid shirt, black beard. I get a bad vibe, so I got in my vehicle to investigate. To park your van in that manner is both illegal and dangerous. I was about to call it in when I heard the young woman shout for aid. I moved in on foot for a closer look. Did you see what caused her to call for help? And by the time I arrived, the man in the beard had fled the scene. So you didn't see Jim get hit on the head? Camry driver? He was lying on the ground. There were groceries scattered everywhere. Are you okay, ma'am? Yes. He was going to attack me. Stay right there. I'll handle this. Can you hear me, sir? I'm gonna need you not to move until the authorities arrive. Satchel. Satchel. What are you talking about? I think I know what he's looking for. Is that milk? The satchel is sitting in the milk. What's in that thing, anyway? I don't need to know. I don't have the clearance. Oh, why not? Hmm? Wet newspaper? That's what was in the bag? In this bag. I don't follow. This isn't the real satchel, Mr. Crimmins. It's a dummy. And who has the real one? That is an excellent question. Thank you, Mr. Crimmins. You're a credit to your garage. Thank you, detective. This has meant a whole heck of a lot to me. <laughs> I hope to see you both soon. On the outside. stories don't match up. Mm. Somebody's got to be lying. I say we bring them all in together and see who cracks first. <laughs> <laughs>